Hello, this is Mr. Beck. This tutorial is designed for my eighth grade Android programming class. Um, we are creating a very simple game that I'm calling Space Blaster, where we have a simple ship that we can drive around. We can shoot and uh, we can apply velocity by using thrusters. Uh, in this series of lessons, we're going to create uh, some targets that we can shoot at. The targets will be arranged randomly on the screen every time we start the application and uh, we'll be able to shoot at the targets and uh, destroy them at will. So the first step is to just uh, get this installed so we'll talk about that. You'll need to go to my github account which is github.com slash android teacher. You'll need to have, uh, well you could have the eGit uh, plugin for Eclipse, I find that's the easiest. Uh, this series of lessons is based on the simple bitmap uh, series that I have uh, on my YouTube site. So by following that, you get this ship set up and you get some uh, good background information. Uh, we'll need to go ahead and download Space Blaster. So once you have uh, Space Blaster set up, um, it should appear in your Eclipse workspace. And, you know, primarily we're going to be working with the panel class, okay? Uh, this particular activity, I guess I'll just uh, overview the program here, and then in the next video we'll talk about how to change it. This particular program has uh, a couple of different classes. We have an ammo class, and the ammo class is uh, one that just contains speed and uh, information, whether or not uh, the ammo is actually being drawn to the screen. Uh, we create an array of this class that holds information for each piece of ammunition that's on the screen at any given time. Uh, canvas thread, don't sweat too much. Uh, we have a getter setter class and this is, uh, I discussed this in simple bitmap. This is where we uh, sort of hold information as to whether or not buttons are being pressed. The left, the right button, and the thruster button are all setting values in our getter setter class. And our panel class is our most important one. Um, the main activity class is where we're detecting button presses, right, and setting things inside of our getter setter. Once again, if you watch the bitmap series, you'll get a more in-depth overview. This is where we set all that up. The panel class is where we have our draw method, okay, and we're reading information from the getter setter class and doing things like making the ship rotate and move, okay. Uh, this panel class is... Uh, is where we have our on draw method, okay? And this is where we'll be doing most of our work. This is where we'll be uh, creating our targets and uh, drawing them to the screen. So I guess we'll do one thing here. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, the class go ahead and we're going to right click on the package and we're gonna create a new class, okay? I'm gonna ask that you call this class, and I've already done this, uh, target.java. And uh, the purpose of this initial lesson in creating targets and drawing them randomly to the screen is to give you an overview of how I'm handling uh, the ammunition and how that's being drawn to the screen. By creating a series of targets, it's going to make it much easier to look at how the ammunition is being handled. And uh, you'll be able to understand that and manipulate it uh, much more easily after doing uh, this target exercise. Uh, we're going to create an array of these, just like I did with the target. So I need everyone to create a target class. You can see I've got a constructor method. Uh, and I have three floats right now. I have a float that's going to contain position X. I've got a float that contains position Y. And I've got a float that contains the rotation value for our target. Now eventually we will have five of these loaded into an array. Uh, each target will have a random position on the screen that is determined when the application begins. Uh, but we'll do all that in the second video. All right. So uh, this first video is, is just real straightforward. Uh, download Space Blaster from my GitHub account and create a target class with uh, these simple floats and a constructor method. When you have all of that set up and ready to go, uh, it's time to move on to video two, where we will create a series of random targets and draw them to the screen.